so how's it going guys shade here back with another deck profile and today i give you guys my blue eyes branded deck list before i get into it if you like my content leave a like down below and subscribe to support me and yeah feel free to comment down below um, any questions you have about the deck or to just discuss anything you want to discuss with me uh, so yeah let's just get into the deck profile so we start with three blue eyes white dragons uh, the boss monster of the deck uh, then we have two copies of blue eyes alternative white dragon it's just an easy to summon level 8 monster with an actually really good effect to pop um, you don't want to see it way too much so two copies is all right it's searchable so it's not uh, it's it's not that big of a deal to only play two copies of it uh, then you have the blue eyes jet dragon this is a really good blue eyes card for um, protection from destruction and it's just easily summonable in this deck just way too easy to summon um, but you don't want to see multiples of it any any time so uh, the one copy is more than enough it's easily uh, accessible as it is uh, then we have the one Dragon Spirit of White to deal with back row if needed, summonable with the White Stone of Ancients, so it's just a one-off. Not you don't really want to see this most times. Uh, then we have the Triple Dictator of the to this card is really insane because it's just a special summon that acts as a foolish burial uh, for uh, blue eyes, so it's just really insane. And the other effect to discard a blue eyes card to special summon from the graveyard another blue eyes monster is just really really good easy, easy three off in the deck uh, then we have the three white stone of ancients um, you basically just want uh, to see this card uh, in your graveyard for the special summon effect or to re just recycle monsters you don't really want to see it in your hand most of the time unless you have only blue eyes placed and it's kind of good to see at least one um, so yeah uh, easy tree off and we have the one white son of legends uh, because it just can search a blue eyes white dragon when it's this uh, when it's sent to the graveyard so uh, sometimes it's useful so the one off is more than enough then going into our uh, branded uh, engine, we have the tree all over to search the branded fusion. Uh, it's just all you want to do with it is just search the branded fusion. Uh, the one fallen of all of us, so we can uh, fusion summon, and the one Trivriga the Mercurier because it's searchable with uh, Brygrand, the Glory Dragon, and its uh, protection. Uh, and then we have three Ash Blossoms just because it's a generic and trap you can play whatever you want, whatever it's better for your um, metagame in your locals. So just play uh, whatever you like. I just felt like Ash Blossoms is the most generic one that applies to pretty much any deck. So it's the best in my opinion. Then we have the triple Melody of Awakening Dragon because it searches uh, the alternative white dragon, blue eyes white dragon. Can also search for a blue eyes jet dragon, um, but most times you don't want to do it with Melody. Uh, but yeah, a really good consistency card. Uh, so yeah, easy three off. Uh, then you have the two Ultimate Fusion. Uh, it's searchable with True Light and it's just shuffle. Shuffle blue eyes monsters to special uh, shuffle monsters to special summon a blue eyes fusion, and it's quick play, so it's energized well with true light. And to be able to shuffle your blue eyes monsters back into the deck is really, really good, really, really good recycling card. Uh, then the triple branded fusion. There's not really much to talk about. It's a really broken card. Just use the deck and uh, the branded fusions are a bit um, 
it, it, like the materials for it are pretty much generic, especially for this deck. If you go and see Albion is one light monster, so Brandis Fusion can also uh, be a way to get your White Stone of Ancients in your graveyard or your White Stone of Legends for your combos, depending on of what monsters you have. So Brandis Fusion is actually a really, really, really good card for this deck. So yeah, easy tree off. And the uh, three branded opening uh, because just more consistent ways to get into Elber to get into branded fusion. Then we have the triple true light. Uh, it's just really good. It exploits white dragon monsters from targeting, and you can uh, use the other effects to special summon a blue eyes white dragon or set one spell trap directly from your deck which uh, we're playing the ultimate fusion and the ultimate creature uh, creature for that. Uh, it's a really, really nuts card, actually. Uh, you just need to be careful with uh, back removal because, uh, yeah, the if this card is sent from the spell and traps onto the graveyard, the trial monsters you control, it's kind of a big drawback. So just don't blind activate it. Uh, you know, uh, be careful on how you use this card, but it's really good. Then we have the uh, one copy of the ultimate creature of destruction. It's searchable with true light and it's just protection for a uh, blue eyes monster. It becomes unaffected and can be destroyed by battle. So basically you use this on a blue eyes monster and you guarantee that you're safe for next turn. So uh, it's a really cool one off. And if you um, normal special summon a blue eyes white dragon, you can set this from your graveyard. So uh, it can be used multiple times. Uh, it's searchable with true light, so a good one off. And then we just have three solemn warnings because I think that's one of the best trap cards to play. Uh, just what I like if you want to trade it off for more. Uh, and traps, you can do whatever. You just play what you feel like um, instead of here. This is just what I find that works for me the best. Uh, then going on the Hexer deck, we have the one Link Revo in case we open the White Stone of Ancients and we don't have a Synchro play. Um, it's just a good protection and a good way to guarantee um, our stones to go to the graveyard. We have the one copy of Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, uh, which I uh, play a new engine with it, not only the Azure Eyes, but I decided to play the Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, because uh, after you use uh, Spirit Dragon as a negate uh, for the graveyard effect, you can just uh, tribute it and special summon the Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, and you have another uh, interruption from the same synchro, so that's kind of cool. Uh, being able to just synchro away two cards and have two disruptions for your opponent's plays is really good in my opinion and just that this blue eyes spirit dragon is just a floodgate that pro um, doesn't allow your opponent or you to special summon two or more monsters at the same time so uh, it can be really really good against uh, pendulum pendulum i think loses really hard to discard uh, and I don't know, I'm not remembering from the top of my head uh, decks that this affects, uh, maybe I'm just dumb. Uh, but yeah, they have really good uh, synchro engine, really accessible if you open a stone plus uh, alternative or any other way to get a level 8 on the field. Then for our XCs we have one whole Harbinger. Uh, for turn one place, it's just a spell negate and has, um, I think, uh, some kind of uh, battle protection. Yeah, it's um, it can uh, change the attack uh, attack target of your opponent to himself. Um, then we have Galaxy Ice Prime Photon Dragon for uh, going second and trying to OTK. It's just uh, more battle damage. Yeah. So, uh, really good card, in my opinion. Then into our branded uh, fusion monsters, we have the one Albion, the one Lubellion, um, 
the one masquerade uh, you don't usually go too much into this I feel like uh, going into mirror jade is uh, way better um, way better uh, choice uh, but sometimes it can be useful so um, we just still just play it as a one-off uh, the one bright grand to use with mirror jade effect to search for a uh, mercury uh, and to mirror jade because it's the fusion that you want to uh, get access to the most uh, then for our blue eyes fusions we have the one blue eyes twin burst dragon it can easily be summoned by contact fusing or you can use a blue eyes ultimate fusion on it it just attacks twice can be destroyed by battle and at the end of the damage step banishes the monster that it attacked if it didn't get destroyed then we have blue eyes tyrant dragon which can be easily uh, summoned with any of uh, your uh, uh, Albion's, Lubillion's, or even... No, it's just the two of them, sorry. Um, that are in your graveyard, so you that's why you only need one of both. Uh, even though they're the ones that... Uh, that are combo starters uh, for the... Uh, when you go branded fusion, um, you can just easily uh, shuffle them back into the deck with um, Ultimate Fusion and Tyrant Dragon. And it's just a really good card and affected by trap cards and can attack almost your opponent controls at 3400 attack. It's just a really beefy monster for um, comparing to most of the meta decks at the moment. So yeah, really, really awesome card. And then you have the blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon, which is just um, uh, for, for 3500 attack monster that cannot be targeted or destroyed with card effects and it has the same effect as alternative but if it is made using alternative it can pop three cards instead so it's a really really good cards that you can get uh, based off of ultimate fusion which is uh, really really good uh, then i'm gonna show you the two replays for our uh alver uh place so basically you just need alver and any um card to this card so you just go into branded f uh, fusion you get your white stone and the f uh, fallen of albas for the fusion go into albion and banish both of them into lubellion lubellion discards and gonna recycle the albas and himself for mirror jade and in phase you get a blue eyes monster so this is just the normal uh, branded fusion combo. So for the second one, if you have uh, Alver and any way to get a blue eyes on the graveyard, so for example, Dictator of the uh, Foolish, uh, not Foolish Barrel, sorry, um, just any any other way. So for example, if you discard it with branded opening or something, if you have it in your uh, graveyard, uh, you have um, a a better place off of the branded fusion. So we're just gonna start with Dictator of the Foolish in the Blue Eye and Special Summon itself. Oliver gets us the branded fusion. We go branded, go to, uh, the, and use the same two monsters for Albion. And the same play as last time, we go into Lubellion. Lubellion discards, returns Oliver than himself go mirror jade but the one difference is that on the end phase since you have a blue eyes on the graveyard you can now go into jet dragon so this part is way better because now you're protected from uh, destruction effects and if it goes to the graveyard your monsters are destroyed from the graveyard it special summons the jet back so your board is way better than uh, just simply opening alver so yeah, uh, that's the synergy that this deck has, so <laughs> Elver being just uh, a plus one for uh, blue eyes is really 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 good. Uh, just uh, being able to send stone from the deck to the graveyard just whenever you feel like it is really 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 good for this deck and I think they synergize really well. So that's it. I hope you guys uh, like the tech profile. 
uh, once again if you enjoyed this deck list drop a like down below and subscribe to support my content and that's it i'll see you guys next time